why it is important to be faithful and prayerful in your marriage. Hello my amazing viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Imi's Corner. I want to say a big thank you to everyone that has been supporting me so far, thank you for watching my videos. God bless and perfect all that concerns you in Jesus name. In this episode, I'll be telling us why it is important to be faithful and prayerful in your marriage. Faithfulness is an extension of the vows made on your wedding day. Romans chapter 12 verse 10 says that we should be kindly affectionate to one another, in honor preferring one another. Your consistent love for your spouse deposits strength, stability and security into their lives. Keep watching to the end and also subscribe to this channel. It's like my wife is coming. I should hide my phone. Why are you hiding your phone? I saw you. No. I'm not. Why are you always suspicious? Me? I'm not suspicious. I saw you hiding your phone. Or are you doing anything that I should be worried about? Nothing. I just dislike how you always suspect me. A minute please. Let me see what he is hiding in this phone. What is this man hiding? Ha ha, invalid password. Why did he change his password? Honey. What are you doing with my phone? Give it to me. Why did you change your password? I just um, um, I just wanted to change it. Then why did you change your password? And you don't want me to access your phone. You're definitely hiding something. Must you know everything? Why can't you use yours to do whatever you want to do? Please, I'm out of here. Someone can't even have peace of mind at home. Where are you going to? Come back here. This is one thing about you. You don't communicate. Open your mouth and talk. Oh please. Remember we have a meeting at church this evening. Please, try and come back on time. Let me go to where I'll have small peace of mind. I can't deal with that woman I married. I hope she'll like what I bought for her. This is for you. iPhone 16. The latest iPhone. Oh goodness. You're the best. I have never seen a guy like you. I love it so much. I mean I'll be the first person to own an iPhone 16 among my friends. I love you're so excited about this little gift. This is not little. I love you so much, thank you for loving and spoiling me. Your gifts are always spot on. From this apartment, to my birthday party and this phone. I love everything about you. Thank you. Faithfulness to your spouse prevents financial chaos. You spent so much money carrying out the affair, from paying for hotel rooms, lunches, gifts. Then, we also have the opportunity cost, loss of income due to decrease in productivity at work or even getting fired due to the affair. The financial consequences of infidelity should be the reason why you should be faithful in your marriage. Vera is such a beautiful lady with a good heart. I love how she appreciate the things I do for her. She would have been a perfect wife for me if I wasn't married. She's exactly my taste. My kind of woman. Whoa. It's getting late. I hope my wife is asleep before she starts asking me unreasonable questions. Sigh. I hope my wife is sleeping. Let me sneak in. Honey, this is 11 p.m. Where are you coming from? You've been coming home lately these days. I went out with my friends. Which of your friends? Because I called Mr. Val and he said he traveled. You might not know him. I'm so tired, I want to sleep. All right. Good night. Unfaithfulness will lead to you telling your spouse lies. Commitment builds trust but lies will lead to doubt and suspicion. How are you, bro? Hope you're good. That reminds me, your wife called some few days back to find out if we were together. Where were you? I hope you weren't with that very girl. Bro, I'm going crazy. 
I love Vera so much. She is so perfect for me. You're not serious. You can't be serious. She's so hot and beautiful. She is driving me crazy. I can't believe that I didn't meet her before now. She's always on my mind. What is wrong with you? Conan, you're married my man. What you're doing is very wrong. You've been with your wife since way back, when you had nothing. She stayed with you and built together, and suddenly you think Vera is better? I know right. I just can't help it and the fact that we see every day is driving me crazy. She is a keeper. Better stop this before it's too late. You want to scatter your home? This is unfair to your wife and you're a Christian. Adultery is a sin. God hates adultery. Please don't ruin your home with your hands. Marriage isn't easy and my wife is so suspicious and she's always complaining. That's because you've given her a reason to be suspicious. Was she always like that? You keep late nights? You lie to her that you're going on business trips while you spend time with that girl? Your wife's instinct is strong and your doom is near. You better stop this. I'll try but it's not easy. I should drive you to the airport or will your company driver come here? Don't worry, I've already booked a ride. The driver is here. Did I tell you that this business trip will last for one month? One month? I should have packed more clothes for you. That means you won't be back for our anniversary. I promise to take you out when I'm back. All right, honey. Have a safe trip. I'll miss you. Love you. This is the contract I was telling you about. Go through it and let me know how much we need for the project. All right. I'll let you know immediately I'm done. Girl, I hope you're good. How about your husband? I'm fine. My husband is on a business trip. He traveled this morning. Again? How many times does he go on a trip in a month? You know his work is demanding. Do you think so? Especially that it suddenly became demanding. Even when he's not on those trips, he hardly spends time at home. I'm tired of his excuses and I don't want to be a nagging wife. I feel he's cheating on me, I just have this strong feeling that something is going on. I may be wrong though. The other time we spoke on phone, you said he comes home late, and when you bring it up, he flares up in anger. I am not telling you to doubt or suspect him but be smart. We haven't been intimate in months. He's always giving excuses that he's tired, he's exhausted. He wants to sleep, he's not in the mood. He might not be cheating though, I don't want to have these thoughts. I believe him, my husband is not a cheat. I truly hope so. Oh God, what is happening to my husband? What Gladys said could be true, but I don't want to believe it. We made a vow on our wedding day to be faithful to each other, I'll not doubt him. But what could possibly be the cause of this sudden change in him? He probably might be stressed at work. I'll have to talk to him when he comes back. I would have to figure it out and make this marriage work. I'll keep praying for my marriage. Welcome back. How was your trip? Great. I thank God. Let me quickly shower before I go out. But you just came back? Shouldn't you rest first? My friend is waiting for me. Don't worry, I won't stay out for so long. Honey, your phone is ringing. Let me see if it's someone that I know. So that I can inform the person that you're in the bathroom. It's Vera. Who is Vera? I don't know this person. I should pick and inform her that he'll soon be out. Sweetie, I am already missing you. Please buy some fruits for me when you're coming. Sweetie. Who are you? She ended the call. Give me my phone. Why did you pick the call? Is that why you came out of the bathroom like this? Who is Vera and why is she calling you Sweetie? Did you go for the business trip with her? Give me my phone and stop asking questions. No. I won't until you answer me. 
Don't get me angry. Let me have the phone. She definitely said I'm already missing you. So, he's cheating on me. Let me pretend like I don't know yet. I need to gather more evidence. I'll soon be back. I want to give something to a colleague. Are you cheating on me? I have his enough. I am not going to stand here and watch you insult me. I am going to leave you with your thoughts. You're still lying? Look straight into my eyes and tell me that you're not cheating on me. What if I'm cheating? What is going to happen now? Please, I'm out of here. Is that so? Oh, oh. What am I going to do now? God, please give me the strength to weather this storm. My husband has changed so much, I'm afraid. I'm trying here. I'm trying to pretend that I still love her but she's complaining. Vera doesn't complain at all. I don't care at this point. I'll stick with Vera. You asked for fruits. I bought a lot of it for you. I feel sick and I have been craving so many things at once. What do you think could be the cause? Should we go to the hospital? My period is also late. Could I be pregnant? Pregnant? No, please. You can't be pregnant. What do you mean by that? We've been staying together for months and it's not like we've not been having unprotected sex. Let's get you tested immediately. Should we go to the pharmacy or to the hospital? Let's buy a test strip from the pharmacy first. I need to be sure. You look sad. What if I am pregnant? You know I am a married man. You can't be pregnant for me. But you promised to choose me over your wife. What changed? You said that you love me and you don't mind leaving her for me. I guess I'm scared of having a broken home. I'll just go to the counter and pay. I saw Salai's husband with another woman at the pharmacy. I knew he was cheating, but didn't expect him to be so bold like that. The audacity of that man to cheat on my friend. Let me call her. It showed two lines. It's positive, I'm pregnant. Why aren't you happy? I'm keeping this baby and you must marry me. What will I tell my wife? My own is finished. And you're not leaving me tonight. You can't leave a pregnant lady by herself. I will have to go. Remember, I just returned from a false business trip and my wife is already suspecting me. That's her business. I am the pregnant person in this situation. I need your love, care and attention. What will I tell my wife? My plan was to sneak out when Vera falls asleep but I slept off till morning. What kind of life is this? How do I navigate this situation? My wife will divorce me if she ever finds out about my affair. But a child is going to be involved now, and she'll have to know. God help me. Maybe I should talk to my friend, Val first. I'm so confused. Good morning dear. I'm sorry I didn't come back last night. Like I care. Please take your things and leave. Leave to where? And why are my things here? Take your cheating self and leave my presence. I don't want to see you. Who told you that? I'm not cheating on you. You're still lying? Anyways, my friend Glad just saw you at the pharmacy with your girl last night. I bet that should be the Vera that called. You must think that I am foolish. Please, take your things and leave immediately. I'm so sorry dear. Let's not ruin our marriage because of this little mistake. I promise to change for the better, I'll end the relationship immediately. Can you just go? Take your things and go back to Vera. You love it there. I'm sorry. Please forgive me just this once. Val, please help me beg my wife. She might listen to you. I warned you. I begged you to stop but you didn't listen. 
Do you think she will want to stay married to you if she knows that Vera is pregnant? I doubt it. I never thought it was going to be like this. I don't want to lose my wife. I can't have a broken home. What were you expecting? Sin has its consequences. When you're enticed by your own flesh and evil desires, it conceives and gives birth to sin. I'm sorry if I am being harsh but I warned you. I shouldn't have cheated. I should have stayed faithful to my wife. I regret this. Unfaithfulness will lead to divorce. There is power in keeping your promise or vow in a world that doesn't know how. Faithfulness is not a popular concept in today's version of marriage. You hear words like, all men cheat, what happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. Excuse me? Marital faithfulness is mocked while having an affair is seen as unavoidable and understandably. Loyalty is also seen as naive. This shouldn't be the case. Faithfulness in marriage reflects your commitment to God. We are called to live what we believe in our home first. Faithfulness is a sign of putting God first and when you're committed, it builds trust. The Bible says that for this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no man put us under. When you're faithful in your marriage, it allows for a friendship to grow deeper over time. It brings freedom and confidence. There are no secrets to hide, no need for covering tracks, no worry, jealousy and need to check. If you spend that much time you're wasting on hiding your affair and working on your marriage, you'll have a great marriage. Faithfulness prevents emotional turmoil and pains. Nobody wins in divorce. Avoid the guilt, separation, frustration, tension, distance, regret, confusion and the effect it has on the children, emotionally and physically. Faithfulness is a gift to your children. Your consistent love for your spouse deposits a strength, stability, and security into their lives. Faithfulness prevents a legacy of marital failure, it prevents financial chaos, it drives you to keep working on your marriage. I encourage everyone watching this video, please be faithful to your wife. Be faithful to your husband. Flee sexual immorality, flee adultery. Unfaithfulness is a sin. Pray for yourself and your spouse. Keep your marriage vows. Thank you so much for watching. If you've been blessed by this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share this video, turn on the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. God bless you.